Hey there, Prairie Point parents and families of students in grades 7, 8, and 9 here at Prairie Point Middle School and 9th Grade Academy. I've got a monthly update here with information for you that I hope you can watch as you're uh, going about your day or perhaps can sit down for about three or four minutes and talk to your student about how things are going during these first couple weeks of school. First off, I want to remind all parents across the entire district that you need to complete a handbook verification uh, form. It's just a quick form with your name, your student's name, that kind of thing. Check the box that you've seen the student handbook. That needs to be turned into us so we can verify that you've had access to that information. Please take that care of that. That is included in this email, um, the link to that space. I want to talk about our safety drill schedule, fire, tornado, active assailant, all the different concerns that might come up during the school year. We are going to be drilling those here starting the month of September. I will send out a communication to families probably by middle of next week with the specific dates and times so you can coach your child on how to respond in the event of a fire drill and a tornado drill. Our homeroom teachers and our classroom teachers will be spending time talking about that, but I want to make sure that you as families are aware of when that's going to be happening as well. One thing we need help with, a morning drop-off, is when parents have done a great job during morning drop off the kids are coming in everybody is on time to class it's been going great so thank you for that but what i want to point out too is as you leave after morning drop off please do not follow our buses or go around the back of the building uh, with the buses because that creates a pretty big safety concern for students and for vehicles after the buses have left at the end of the morning that route that route is open for cars but prior to that time we need you not to drive back by the buses please that will be a big help also, activities are off to a great start here. Remember that if your student comes to a middle school or a high school activity, whether it's golf or football or volleyball, no matter what, that we need them to uh, represent their self, themselves well at the game, uh, be proud of the cheering that they do for their team. So far, it's been an excellent experience at Prairie Point, but I just want to remember and remind you that that's an, an expectation for our students as we go. If you call your student for early pickup, please call this number, 848-5506. Um, we are going to keep that student in class until the pickup time. All right, we obviously we'd want to miss them, have them miss as little class as possible if they need to leave for an appointment or need to leave for a trip or something else. But please call and then go ahead and just call the office or pop in when you get here so that student can be called from class to come out and join you. It sometimes will happen that a parent will call to let us know that a student's going to leave. The student will then want to go and sit in front of the building for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and basically an entire class period they could be in class. So we'll wait till you get here, then we'll send you a student out. Uh, finally, 7th and 8th grade teachers, if you're a 9th grade, I'm sorry, if you're a 9th grade parent, we're, that's it for us, but 7th and 8th grade parents, um, you receive weekly communication from your team, from your child's core team, that includes the work they're working on, projects that are upcoming. This is a great way to guide your conversations at night, rather than, how was school? What did you learn today? Hey, I saw that in 7th grade math, this is a current project you're engaging in. I saw that in 8th grade social studies, you're learning about blank. These are excellent ways to bring yourself into your child's educational experience and talk to them about the things that they are doing here at Prairie Point Middle School. I encourage you to look at that email from your child's team. If you have not seen one of those, reach out to our main office. We'll make sure to get you on the email list. You should be getting that on a weekly basis. So, uh, Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sharing this experience with your son or daughter here at Prairie Point. I want to make sure that you know that we care about your kid. We're happy they're here and we're excited uh, to continue partnering together in their education.